Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Sweets are something we all enjoy for festivals or special occasions at home. I've made several sweet recipes earlier on my channel. You can check those links in the description. And today I want to introduce you all to a really nice Chetinad special dish. This is called Rangoon Puttu. Now this is not the savory puttu you think it is. It is similar to halwa. So let's get started and check out the recipe. The first step in making this sweet is to roast the cashew nuts and raisins. For this, take a small pan and add 1.5 teaspoons of ghee. Add cashew nuts to the pan and roast them until they are light brown in color. Once done, add a few raisins and saute until they plump up. Now transfer these roasted ingredients to a bowl and keep aside. To the same pan, add about 2 teaspoons of ghee. Now add about 1 cup of grated fresh coconut and saute until the excess moisture has evaporated. Saute for about 3 to 4 minutes. Turn off the heat and keep this two aside. Now we have to melt the jaggery. For this take a saucepan and add 1 cup of jaggery with a 250ml cup. Add 3 cups of water with the same 250ml cup. We just have to melt the jaggery. There is no need to overcook this. Keep the flame on medium and just keep stirring to speed up the process. Now you can see the water is boiling and there are no jaggery bits left in here. At this point turn off the heat and keep the saucepan aside. Take a wide pan and heat it. Add 2 tablespoons of ghee. Add 1 cup of suji rava or semolina with a 250ml cup. Roast the rava on a medium low heat until it is turned to a nice golden brown color. This step is very important. We cannot make this sweet with a raw semolina. After 1-2 to two minutes, you can increase the flame to medium and keep roasting the semolina. You get a nice aroma once the semolina is roasted. So once you see that the rava color has changed and it has become dry, you can gently add the melted jaggery. You have to cook the semolina slowly in the jaggery water alone. There is no need to add plain water to this. As you can see, this mixture has thickened a bit. At this point, add half teaspoon of cardamom powder. Also add the roasted cashew nuts and raisins. Lastly, add the roasted coconut too. Now mix these all well. I'm also adding two tablespoons of ghee at this stage. Mix again. You just have to maintain a low flame throughout. Otherwise, this can get burnt. Now cover the pan with a lid and cook the rangoon puttu for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes if you see this looks absolutely perfect. There is no moisture left and this is good. I am adding the remaining ghee from the half cup I kept aside for this recipe. This adds a nice glaze to the puttu. There you go our chetinad rangoon puttu is ready to be served now. I am serving this with the help of an ice cream scooper but you can also set it in a small bowl and then serve. I just can't wait to taste this amazing sweet. It is so good in every way. I'd say this is a must try when you don't have enough time to make any elaborate sweet recipes. Mm. The sweet is really easy and tasty and make sure you roast the rubber that is a semolina nicely and also use fresh coconut for best results. Now you can make this sweet instantly and serve your family or guests in just minutes. Make sure you follow all the steps to get it right and let me know how it turned out for you guys in the comment section below. So for more exciting and wonderful recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get your notifications. The second edition of our home cooking book is now available on our website 21frames.in. I'll give you the link in the description. You can go and check it out. The book is currently available only in India for now. So you can place your orders on 21frames.in.